You can now use multiple phone and tablet devices for additional camera angles during a Riverside recording. Whether you have multiple in-person guests and want to record their video, or you'd like to capture top-down desk shots for a product review, you can record every angle in full 4K quality using the devices you already have. Here's how you can get set up with Riverside multiple camera angles. First, make sure you update your Riverside app to 2.1.2 or higher. That's where this multiple camera angle feature is and some other great new features you can see here in the release notes. Once you've entered the studio on your computer or tablet device or even another mobile device, open the Riverside app on the phone you'd like to use as a secondary camera. Make sure you're logged in with the same Riverside account here in the Riverside app. Then find the studio you entered on your computer. I'm using this Riverside studio. Tap the three dots next to the studio name and you'll see Join with Second Camera. Tap Join with Second Camera, and although it just says Second, you can actually add more than just two devices as angles inside a Riverside recording. So you can use multiple phones and tablets. So depending on your internet connection, you can add two, three, four, or even more video angles using all the devices you already have when they're running the Riverside app. Tap Join with Second Camera, and now you'll actually see the secondary device appear here in the Riverside Studio. You can see it's recording in 4K resolution, but I don't have to worry about microphone or audio settings because it's added just as a secondary camera. You also don't have to worry about the other participants in the call seeing the secondary angle or other cameras you might have in the room. Once the secondary device has been added to the studio, you can switch between the back or front camera using this icon, and you'll even see in the Riverside Studio whether you're using the back or front facing camera. For the highest quality recording, I would use the back camera on your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Once the recording is started, you'll see the upload percentage here on the secondary camera, how long the recording is going for, and you can always leave this secondary angle. So this is actually the recording from the back camera on my iPhone right into Riverside. This is the separate video track that you can download once the recording is finished, and this is what it looked like. And I'm getting high quality 4K video right from my iPhone as a secondary camera. Remember, you can add multiple devices, iPhone, Android, or iPad devices, and you'll get all of those video tracks separately available to download from your studio once you end the recording. And here in my Riverside Studio recordings, you can see I can download the separate video track from that secondary camera and even the audio track if I would like. And that's the 4K high quality video recording from the back camera of the iPhone and other devices you had connected during the recording. So that's how to use the secondary camera feature in the Riverside app. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because we have content about improving your podcast, video and audio equipment, and of course, making the most of Riverside for your remote and business recordings. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.